Peace, love, and life, family. It's Essie the Gardener. I hope everyone is having a happy Tuesday. I am at the grow table today. And what I'm doing today is I'm trying to transplant the ones that were in the house under the grow station, in the grow light. And after moving them around so many times, I forgot what is what. I may only have two labels uh, that are telling me that they're same buckets I used last year for my peppers and my tomatoes so I'm gonna reuse them I already amended the soil added more soil put some more nutrients in it my bone meal blood meal eco scraps some mycorrhiza and um, I'm just gonna add some some uh, vegetable uh, slow release uh, fertilizer and these eight buckets are already ready I did um, do the best I could as far as sterilizing them because they've been you know out in the winter and all that stuff so i'm just going to add a few drops in each bucket and then i'm going to open up my ceilings mix that in real good and just drop these ceilings in and y'all just wish me luck because um they did go through a lot but for the most part they did um remain healthy looking so I'm thinking they kind of dry, but I'm thinking once I get them watered up into this good soil with these nutrients, they should be just fine. And I'm gonna try to um, make sure I get them all the way down and bury them as far as I can to get that legginess out of them. Some of them have some legginess. Like this one is, she's still a baby, but she been out, she been out here for about two weeks now, and she been hanging tough. And this is um, actually one that has a, it's the orange uh, habanero, so she's a trooper. Let's see. And some of them, I'm actually gonna put Q in some of these buckets to fill these buckets up because I did that last year. The two two trans um, plants, so that's what I'm gonna do. thinking once I give them some fish emotion they'll be all right now this one here is doing really well it was two seeds let me see if y'all can see that it was two seeds in this one and look how strong that looks so what I'm gonna try to do is maybe separate them and this might be the tomato I don't know but I'm gonna try my best to separate them and put them on different sides of the pot and see what happens who knows this might be the tomato I don't know but we're gonna find out. Well, these are very close. So. straight up just from me taking them out of these um, little uh, pellets and this one is actually a pepper too so I'm gonna go ahead and get her one in there I don't 
know what happened to my tomatoes, but I'm gonna be growing a lot more uh, stuff, so I will be adding some more of those as well. Some more tomatoes. peppers I have so many peppers um, look how strong that one is standing up real strong get you guys over here this one is let's see the popper I got popper think California something but um, she's fighting and um, I need to let me back up some of you guys I need um, Queen Mother Cheryl to tell me where am I actually supposed to pinch these these peppers off to get them um, off to a better start. I'm thinking it's the, the middle part of them. So, Queen Mother Cheryl, Cheryl's Food Forest, please come in and help Essie out. I, I'm thinking I'm supposed to pinch off those two right here so that they can get stronger and start multiplying more peppers. So, I'm going to bury this one all the way down. Put some more soil and some of them so I can get that get them all the way filled up to the top of those leaves and get some of that legginess out of them but for the most part a lot of those things are strong this one is a little Up. And this one is fighting too. She should have went in first because she's she's showing a lot of strength. So I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put her over here with this one, and I'm just gonna move that one over some. guys so I'm just gonna give them some top dressing and I'm gonna work them in and then I'm gonna work my way into the raised bed area to show you guys what's going on over there how everything is going over there I actually 
planted some more stuff in that empty grave thread. Neutralize, not neutralize, sanitize. <coughs> I'm gonna sanitize these four buckets, and these four buckets is gonna be dedicated to someone. <laughs> and I think on the end of my table, I may have four more buckets that need something in them, and then everything on the grow table should be full. At least I think so. You know how sometimes you think you planted something and you didn't, they be empty, or you over planted it. So um, I'm gonna get these sterilized. And then I'm going to take you guys out here and show you um, what's going on out here. And what I'm going to do with the, the raised bed that was left, I started putting some transplants. Most of them was beans, um, some cucumbers, some squash. I'm going to call that my, my miscellaneous uh, raised bed because everything going to be over there. And I'm going to add some more beans over there as well. So let me wrap this up over here pretty much wrapped up. I just want to add some more soil on top of it. Now these right here, again, peppers, like, I don't know, like, if all of, if I lost all my tomatoes or what, but this, I'm going to probably put these in um, probably the compost area and, but these, again, these is more peppers, so I need to get, see, they strong, so I need to get them into something, so. I'll get those probably back here where there's one that may just be one. So let me wrap this up, you guys, so I can take you guys into the raised bed area. And I'll see you guys on the next video. This is Essie the Gardener. Peace, love, light. And I'm out.